Thank you for joining me. Today we are going to be turning some old Christmas tree pieces into this useful mallet. So let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna show off a knife that I had made the handle for previously. Uh, first things first, I'm gonna just remove the bark from the tree. With the bark removed with the knife, now I'm just taking my hatchet and getting some more of that rough pieces off, getting more aggressive with that. And just take this to the belt sander and I'm just really getting my um, dimensions down. I don't have a lathe, you could do this with a, a lathe, that would make it a lot easier if you got one. I'm just making sure that my diameter is correct. I'm using a 1 and 3 8 inch uh, Forstner bit for the um, to hollow out the mallet part. And I'm just making sure that my handle is going to match up with that. And I've found the part that I want to have for the uh, top and bottom essentially where the handle is going to go through and I'm marking off the the middle of the mallet head there just making sure that I'm checking it from both angles making sure I got the middle and that's that uh, one and three eighths inch drill bit I'm just going to drill right through the right through the whole thing here Now I'm just going to test out the fit and make sure that it's it works well. I'm going to do the final glue up here. I'm just using a scrap piece of wood to just spread the glue around. And I purposely cut the handle long for this part right here. If I'm going to bung up the, the end or split it or anything like that, I don't want that to impact the final, uh, final project there. So that handle's cut long. You'll see me cut it here down to size after a little bit.
Here I'm just cleaning off the extra glue from my glue up, making sure that it's all clean. So when I put the finish on there, it'll have something to adhere to. And now I am just cutting that little extra part off of the handle and taking a little file here, cleaning up the edges, making them nice and round, just kind of getting my final you know, shape on there. And you'll see I decide that I'm going to go away from the file here right, since I've got that uh, belt sander out. I'm just going to utilize that. Now I'm just going to drill into the top here. Um, so there's lots of different ways to to do this, I guess. Um, if you see people do an axe, uh, they'll put a wedge in there. And my idea here, I'm putting a golf tee in the top, actually. Um, and the idea is that it's just going to expand the wood to kind of fill in a little bit better. It makes that, um, makes that fit just a little bit more snug. And yes, you did see that correct. I uh, pulled up the epoxy from my armpit. It's doing this project in the garage, if you can't see, I'm all bundled up. Uh, pulled out the part A and part B from my armpit to keep them nice and warm. And I'm just going to mix up the epoxy, uh, filling in those little bit of gaps around the, the top of the, um, you know, the mallet there where the handle extrudes from the top and then I also have some spots on the the handle itself that um, you know the from where the branches were coming off got a little uh, holes or whatever that I'm just filling in with epoxy So now I'm just sealing up all the, of the ends. I don't want it to dry out and split. So that uh, armor seal is just going to, basically yeah, that's really what it does is to seals the ends, keep the moisture in. So now I'm just using a tongue oil for my finish and you can use boiled linseed oil or, or whatever finish you want to use. I am using tongue oil because that's what I have and that's what I like. So 
That's what I decided I was going to finish it with. So. Yeah, so here it is. Our little wooden mallet from a old tossed out Christmas tree. So I, I'm excited to put it to use. So thanks for joining me.